good morning, everybody. It is the second um, 10 days in. Yes. Uh, it is the second uh, tutorial, if you will, on the little snippets about how to manage all the amazing elements of Be Connected. So I'm just going to wait for 7.30 to click over on the button because I do like to start on time, but not too early so that anybody who's yet to jump in can do so. So let me just um, pop up the initial screen so we're ready to rock and roll. And it's 7.30 on the button. Let's go. Uh, I'm um, a big believer in we've locked, locked in a time that's going on. Let's get going on this time. So I want to just quickly recap what I covered on Tuesday. So just two days ago. So I spoke about the importance of having a profile set up because, hey, if you're a user or a new user of Be Connected and you don't have your profile image in and you don't have the basics in your profile, guess what? You won't be seen, heard, or you won't connect. Um, you won't be able to do those things. People can't find you. The only person who can find you is the person who introduced you into this platform. That may have been me, but it might be somebody else. It might have been Cheryl from Women's Network Australia. So the key pieces were, the takeaways were that I shared some links for you to click on and to find. Um, the recording is in Be Connected Now. So the importance is getting your profile done. So we're going to the next level here, talking about this thing that you can see on the screen right this minute. So this is about your virtual presence. So virtual uh, meetings that convert. Now, I know we're all used to using all the other platforms, right? Those platforms that will not be named. Let's go there. Um, there aren't, none of those platforms allow you the functionality of this, of what this does. But what you may not be aware of is how many virtual background options there are in this platform. So what are we going to do? We're going to step into the future of virtual elevation. That sounds pretty, a big promise, right? Learn how to create your B, uh, virtual room for immersive and engaging meetings. You know, we are, we are used to, I'm used to, uh, many of you are used to running um, hey, Laura, good to see you. Thank you for popping in all the way from beautiful Canada. Good to see you there, lovely. We're all used to running our virtual meetings and webinars on those other platforms. And I know the number of times I've hopped and gone, oh, did I actually connect with people? I couldn't quite see the engagement happening here right in front of my eyes. Or I didn't make it easy for them to connect because those platforms don't let you do those things, right? You rely on this little chat function you click on the three dots and you hope to goodness they all remember to download the chat so they can get all those those wonderful bits and bobs that are popped in the chat. So this platform does things in a very different way. So why would you be here? You will be in the right place if, if you're a user and don't know how to set up your virtual room. You've come to the right place. You're sick of webinars and meetings that don't convert. You don't stand out in the Be Connected community. You set it up, you're not really sure that it's good enough and you don't understand the importance of a great room. Maybe you do. Maybe I'll just reaffirm something for you. So I'm going to walk you through. These, these little um, tutorials are short and snappy. So if I get it done in 20 minutes, I'm a happy girl because I don't want to take up a lot of your time. And I just want to give you little bits so that you can progressively over the weeks or the days that I'm delivering these, every Tuesday morning, every Thursday morning, my time, Queensland in Australia, so that you can put all those elements together. It's recorded, it'll be put back into Be Connected so you can review it and I'll keep it there for a long time. So make sure you go to my community group, which is Joanne Brooks Community and you will find all the recordings there. So for those of you who don't know me, it might seem a little bit backward, but I like to pop this in in a little un unexpected spot. I have literally done over a thousand webinars over the last three years. I've been a business owner for 20 plus years. I've launched 16 plus businesses. I have built a business that I'm incredibly proud of uh, to 30 million turnover in 24 months. I'm an author and a business mentor. I say these, I share this so that you can understand that uh, for me, a mantra that I've used for 20 years is high tech, high touch. I want platforms that can escalate my activity in business to the next level and do a lot of the heavy lifting for me. And I find that Be Connected does exactly that. So, um, I have a funny feeling this is right. So what we're going to look at is um, what you, how you need to set up your room, the name of it, the imagery that you're going to use and the details that you need to put in there. So let's have a look at each of these. This is not a long webinar, but it's I'm also going to give you some tools and 
um, links so that you can um, access some templates that I've already got. So you're going to understand from this point what to expect, importance of a B virtual room, Pardon. learn the secrets of crafting an impactful virtual room. My offer to you at the end, I'm going to give you some tools, how to create your own um, images, and then you can pick my brains for those of you who are hanging out live in here. But you can absolutely reconnect with me in the Be Connected platform. So did you know that there are actually three backgrounds in um, Be Connected? So I've got them numbered here and I've got a little banner around each of them. So if you look at the uh, if you're live here, and I know um, Laura's here, which is wonderful, she can see, uh, I've just done an exact image of the platform that you're looking at. So you're looking a little bit of a mirror. So the gold um, barrier or, or dotted line highlights the banner that sits at the very edge of your B Connected platform. Then we've got the one that sits within, uh, which has the red barrier. And then, because I didn't want to make it too busy, then there's this other one, which we're all used to, right? The background that sits directly behind my image. So you actually have the opportunity to place your branding in three locations. So I've taken the image off so you can see there's one at the very outside, one that sits within the, the, the banner that's um, outside me, which is for me, it's a marble, marble um, image that I put. I wanted to keep it nice and simple. Then you can see my virtual background. That's the one we're all used to, right? We're all used to that, but you've got two others. So you've got an opportunity to create your own branding, to really make a, a connection with people. I know I was talking to, um, I was on a meeting with some of the executives and Be Connected, the um, CMO, David Dubbs, and uh, a prospective um, organisation to bring into this platform. And he made it completely black because that's their brand, black and gold. And it startled the, the CEO of that business. The minute he walked in here and he went, oh, this looks, because he loved it because it's his colours and it looked amazing. And, you know, black might have, might have seemed a pretty dark, you know, literally a very dark thing to jump into, but it looked impressive, right? And so that's your opportunity to put your, um, consider what you want to do in the three layers of backgrounds that you can put in here. So um, let's have a look. So Number one, step one, you can set up number one and two background within the B virtual back, um, back end of the system, not in where you are here. We all aware that we can log in to the back end of B Connected. That's where you set up your profile, all that sort of stuff. So go back to your B virtual um, diamond uh, menu item that's uh, available to you at the top of when you log in and go to the B virtual room and you can upload two, um, one or two images in there. You can absolutely use the ones that be, be connected offer you. And that's the screenshot that I've got here. I know it's small. You can see three boxes there. You can, you can choose any one of those or you can put in your own. Now, what I will be providing you with is a Canva template with this already ready for you to just simply choose which one you like or modify it and then upload it yourself. The size is your same as your any normal um, virtual background. Um, Parameters, 1920 by 1080. So you can, I'm using my mouse, you can't see my mouse. So you can choose one of those three boxes that you can see there. There's a little tick box. You can potentially see that. Or you can choose the one that's highlighted on this screen, custom image. That's where you can make it your own. Now, I will be the first to admit when I first started, I let it be the B, the B Connected one. I had a lot to do. I was still getting my head around it. And that's perfectly fine, right? It's been a probably only in the last month, maybe, I've put my own in there. And it doesn't look too different. I made it super, super simple because you can only see a tiny bit, but it still gives you the opportunity to put some branding there, even if it's a solid colour that relates to your brand, i.e. the example I gave you before of the um, organisation I was bringing in. It was a university. It is a university and their colours are black and gold. So David Dubbs completely made everything black. And it might sound it would have been a little bit too much, but look, Jolly awesome. Really, really cool. So that's your first and second one. Again, you bat, you dial into the back end of Be Connected, your standard login to the back end, not into your virtual room. Go to the Be Virtual Diamond and you make your selection whether you're happy to choose. And you might choose to do that this, 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 at this early stage of your Be Connected journey, particularly if you're a free user. Oh, I just want to get and use it, Joan. I don't want to fuss around too much. That is cool. 
it will default to one of the um, B connected ones, and but you can choose. You can have a plain one, uh, one with a bit like a uh, like I've got on this on this slide here, a bit of a hexagonal to reflect the B, uh, and then you've got the middle one, which is a bit of a, a square grey uh, aspect, and then you've got a pure black one. Or you can upload your own. Again, I'm going to share with you a link to a Canva template to do this for yourself. Then you've got the standard B virtual room uh, that sits directly behind me. So I, you need to be in where you are exactly here. So you log in as though you're going to run a meeting yourself. You can see I've put a big arrow that points to the menu, which is if you, you cast your eye on the screen that you're looking here, Cast your eye up. I always get my fingers around the wrong way. You'll see next to the Meet and Be Connected logo says Menu, little three lines. That's where you go to set this up. So you go, you click on Menu and you choose um, what is it? Uh, be the room settings, and then you can upload the image that you've created. Again, the same dimensions as all the others. Now let's have a little look at what I believe to be best practice. Go next. Um, ah, uh, uh, okay, I haven't um, put it to create, create a site. I'm going to talk about best practice to I, what I think is the important thing to consider, particularly this. And this is also a subject directly um, specifically. I will cover this on Tuesday in a lot more detail. Don't make this too busy. I've been to, um, I've been to meetings where it's a, a GIF, it's a video, it's going. I find it quite distracting. Even blur your image if you choose to. So you have all those options. This image that sits behind me is exactly as we say see on all the other platforms. It doesn't show that on this end. I don't know why. What, um, Laura, I'm not really sure what you mean by that. It doesn't show that on this end. I don't know why. Hmm, not really sure. The menu tab. Uh, that will be because, Laura, you are in a live in the hive, which is why I want uh, let me share my screen. Here, let's just do some improvisation and let's do, I'll do a share my screen. You're going to see me down a tunnel, which is fine. Um, so you should now, um, Laura, this makes total sense because you are a guest and you can't see the menu item. But now that I'm sharing my screen, you'll be able to see it. So um, room, what did I say? Audio, video settings, virtual background. So you just go here. So this is what you need to do. Look, you've got lots of choice here, right? Lots of choice. And as I said, I'm going to cover this in a lot more detail on Tuesday. And you can see all the ones. Like I had a fun Christmas one that I set up with the little hat on and all that sort of fun stuff. So that that is the really, this is the one that you probably find, oh, that sounds really familiar to, to like we do in Zoom and all those other platforms. Now, what I'm going to give you right now, so Laura, you can grab this if you choose to. Click on that button. I'm going to click on it for you. I'm going to go and grab it and I'm going to do something a little bit fun. This is your virtual background on my Canva as a template. You can grab that and I'm also going to do something a little bit fun in something else. And you're watching me do this all along because right? I'm sharing the screen. So this is a cool stuff that we can do in Be Connected. Now I can put it right here for you to grab it yourself for those of you who are live. So yeah, I'm going to stop sharing because I, look, I feel as I'm looking down a tunnel. But that is why you, um, Laura, you didn't see, and a good point because you're an amazing coach as well. So thank you for pointing that out. Um, sharing the screen was an important piece. So there's a link for you. Now, the great thing is for those of you who are watching this um, as a recording, you'll see that that chat is actually um, working and live, right? So the link that I popped in there, the fact that you couldn't click on the button because you're not attending here live like Laura is, the recording will provide you with the buttons on the left-hand side and the chat links that I pop in there. So that, I think, is such an compelling piece about Be Connected. Let me just go back because, um, as I said, this is a super quick little tutorial and I don't want to take up much time. So what's next for you? Oh, well, hang on, let's take some action first. It's always important to take some action. Lock away 30 minutes. Oh, do you need that much? Possibly not. Grab the Canva link, prepare your contact, content, upload it and start connecting with people. As I said on Tuesday, this is to help people to improve and set up their Be Connected platform. I don't expect you to have cancelled all those other subscriptions you have in those other platforms. I would recommend you don't. 
I do recommend you've signed up into Be Connected. Use some parallel. Do one meeting under our competitors, those that will, will not be named, and one in, in Be Virtual. Start using it so that you can make a well-informed decision. As a business owner, you or anybody, you cannot take, make a decision without the data, without the information. So unless you set this up and start using it, you won't know or you won't have the realisation how much better this platform is to those that are not to be named. Because I see this platform, and for those of you who are very new to Be Connect, you may, they may not be aware of this. I see this, Be Connected, as a critical foundation piece to all people, anybody doing connecting across the globe via the screen. It's a critical foundation piece. And for those of you who know me, I talk all about business foundations. And I'll just give you the little analogy for those of you who missed it on Tuesday. I believe if you're going to, it's an analogy, if you're going to build a house, you know the, the builder will put foundations into the ground, nice solid foundations, whether it's this deep, this deep, that deep, depending on one story, two story, 50 stories, right? You have confidence they're going to do that. Why is it the business owners come to starting their business with an amazing genius and skill set? They could be awesome at selling pens. They could be awesome at providing advice, yada, yada. doesn't matter what they do. But why don't they spend time in building the foundations of their business? Because what I want it to be is deep foundations so you can grow and scale. Your scaling is your choice as to what level that is. I see this platform as a foundation piece to that because it brings together a complete new economy that is a mix between all those virtual, virtual platforms that will not be named, all those streaming platforms that will not be named, um, all your social media channels and your um, LinkedIn, all those, brings them all together into one place for one subscription with so much capability. So that's pretty much me today. So what's next on Tuesday, next week? I'm going to dive deeper into, it might seem, why would you talk about just that on Tuesday, um, Joanne? Because that's really important. And I'm going to show you what looks good, what doesn't, how to set it up, and how to do it in Canva. So I'm going to do a little bit of um, that live in Canva with you on Tuesday. So I'm going to say thank you. That's pretty much me. Laura, do you have any questions while I've got you live or comments? I'd love to hear what your thoughts. Short, snap, sharp, snappy. I love that I got this done in 27 minutes. I'm happy about that. Um, any questions or you're good? Loved it. Great. That's wonderful. Thank you so very, very much. I'm going to um, turn off the streaming and the recording and I'm going to let you go. Have an awesome day. It is early for me. It is 10 to 8 in the morning now. Um, so you have a marvellous day. See you soon.